Finally, let's talk very briefly about a famous example in the field of continuous dynamics, um, which is this set of equations here, which is due by Lorentz. He was actually a weather scientist in the, the 60s, and he wrote down equations like these uh, to study an abstract model of a, of a weather system. Now, when he was solving these equations on a computer, he actually discovered a very nice chaotic attractor, uh, which is represented by, by this diagram over here, and then which in the end uh, got his name. So this is the Lorentz attractor. Um, now, we have seen chaotic attractors before in the context of the Enon map, but there the situation was different. That was a discrete uh, dynamical system. So there the attractor was formed by collecting all of the points where the discrete just system jumped to and if you joined all of these points together they formed some sort of continuous uh, set but the no attractor did not of course um, represent the continuous time evolution of a system because it was a discrete time system here we really have a continuous time system so the system actually evolves along these very complicated pattern of lines uh, moving back and forth um, between these these two different uh, planes if you want so um, this is actually a very important uh, realization, uh, also because uh, he actually came up with a very vivid metaphor to explain chaotic behavior and sensitive dependence on initial conditions. Because in one of his papers, uh, Lawrence wrote that if you have a butterfly which flaps its wings in Brazil, that this can give rise to a tornado in, in Texas. So this so-called butterfly effect um, is a very vivid way of representing uh, the sensitive dependence on initial conditions. And moreover, happy coincidence, this attractor actually looks a little bit like a butterfly uh, as well. So very famous dynamical system.